The Las Lajas Sanctuary in Colombia is considered one of the most beautiful Christian temples in the world, and that's where today's story took place. While the temple was being built, one of the workers fell ill. He was in charge of placing the cross of the altar. He fell to the floor and started having seizures. His co-workers tried to help him, but his skin became so hot that they got burnt just by touching him. One of the supervising priests said he would try to exercise him, so he grabbed a rosary and a Bible and started to recite words in Latin. The worker perished in between screams and tears of agony as the devil himself was expelled from his body. Years later, a boy from a nearby city went to the same temple as part of a school trip. Santiago always noticed the cross-shaped pendant his grandfather always had with him. His grandpa had recently passed away, and the boy looked forward to visit that famous temple and lit a few candles in his grandfather's memory, who was a very big believer. Once Santiago purchased them, he asked permission to his teacher so that him and his friends could light them up. Excited, he placed them on the altar and lit each one of them. However, his excited nostalgia was cut short when a sudden gust of wind put out all the candles almost instantly. Santiago tried to light them up again, but the flames wouldn't last for even two seconds. That was strange, especially since there were no more gusts of wind. He kept on trying until all the wicks turned to ashes. Suddenly, the light which passed through the stained glasses of the temple disappeared, and darkness invaded the place. Thunder announced that a storm was brewing outside. Then a priest rushed in, yelling to Santiago's friends to get away from him. Santiago then fell to the floor, and his eyes widened out. He started to have seizures and foam at the mouth, and a few moments later, his lips got so separated that it seemed as if his jaw was about to dislocate and fall out. The priest quickly approached Santiago to exorcise him, while the boy's voice turned deeper and deeper, and his screams of pain became more intense. His body then started levitating, and he started to speak in a language nobody could understand. Shortly after, he fell back to the floor, with his veins marked on his now pale face, and his ears red like blood. He was now in a coma that he would never wake up from. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more horror videos, subscribe to our channel.